Hi, I'm Shannon Heaton, and I'm here to show you just one tune. All you need is your instrument or even your voice alone and a bit of focus. There are a lot of Irish traditional tunes out there, and if you've found me, you know there's great incentive to learn these tunes because then you can play them with other people. But it can be overwhelming. There are so many tunes. I do think that the best way to build an Irish music repertoire is one tune at a time, learned with care, learned by heart. So let's dig in to the tune of the month. Happy 2022. For the start of this year, I'm going to teach the Connachtman's Rambles. Can't believe I have never featured this very common jig on the Tune of the Month series, but here we go. Amid the Christmas decor still up, my desk in front of me is a complete mess. Um, so this is reality-based learning. Wherever you are today, if things are not quite as settled as you hoped, if your playing isn't in quite the place where you hoped it to be, you can still sit down and learn the Connachtman's Rambles. So in this tune, uh, there are two repeated A's near the top of the tune, flute players. I like to give either a, a da, a da, I gently tongue with a D, the second A, or you can cut the notes to distinguish them. Cut by lifting the first finger. So maybe the first A part around, I'll use the D articulation to separate those two A's. And then the second time through the A part, I'll cut. And I'll do the same in the B part when there are repeated notes. The first go around, I'll use the D tongue on that second of the repeated notes. And then the second time around, I'll use cuts. There's also a situation where there are um, three Bs in a row. And when I have that, ha ta ta la da da I might tongue the first two Bs, a ta ta a little ta ta uneven tonguing situation, ta ta and then the third one, I'll do a little cut. All right, so here we go. Colin Huntman's rambles one time around, then I'll break it down phrase by phrase. One, two. <laughs> Right, then it's back around again. So here's the tune phrase by phrase. I'll play a phrase and give you just enough time to sing it back. That's a great way to learn a tune is to get it in your ear and in your heart first and then go at it with the instrument instead of just stabbing away at it um, with the flute when you don't really know the tune. Uh, it's quicker and it's less stressful to just learn it first, get it first, know it, and then go play it. So here we go. One. Two. <laughs> This is the second A section. Da di da. Do do la do do la dum di o do da. Do do la di do la do do da do do la. Da do 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 la do do da dum. All right, so two A parts. They're the same except for the very endings. The second ending is a little bit different to lead us into the B part. Da da de do da da de do da dum da dum. So the B part starts on an F sharp, maybe with a G pickup note. So one, two. Da da la do da 
Second B part da 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 Okay, that's the simple walkthrough through the Connaughtman's Rambles. Christmas decor still up. Desk a mess. Learn the tune anyway. Hope to see you here next month or at our Saturday sessions this year. Happy New Year.